So welcome to Technodad Life and on today's episode we're going to be installing Pi-hole which is a network wide uh, application to block ads and so we're going to be installing that on our Open Media Vault server then we're going to adjust uh, some of our router settings and I want to just say uh, thank you to FL Maxi he's the one who came up with this guide and I'm going to put his guide in the comments below so make sure you go there give him a thumbs up and if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and here we go now! Okay, let's start installing uh, Pi-hole. So the first thing we need to do is actually go to our network settings here. Go to interfaces and actually write down this interface number. And so most people will be ETH0, but you can see here mine is ENP0S25. So we're going to need that in a minute. So write that down. Next, we're going to click on that, click edits, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom here in DNS servers. And so this container has the possibility of uh, upsetting our Open Media Vault uh, when it comes to DNS settings. So we're going to put in a DNS server here. And you can either put in whatever your favorite one is, like Google 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. uh, I like Cloudflare, that's 1.1.1.0. That way Google doesn't know everything I do. And then click Save. Apply and Yes. Next we're going to go to Docker and we're going to click on Networks. And we're going to click Create. And so we're going to name this whatever our network is called on our uh, local network. And so mine is work group. And so our network driver is Mac VLAN. Next we're going to put our network address. And so we're just going to copy that, put, paste it here, get rid of the front part there. And then this last part we're going to type 0 slash 24 and basically that tells us how many addresses are available on our server or not on our server excuse me available on our router uh, next for gateway gateway is the IP address of your router and so if we go over here you can see there's mine so I'm just gonna copy that paste that here and again get rid of the extra stuff there and then finally here we're going to put that Ethernet ad adapter address. And so mine was ENP0S25. And then basically what we're doing here is we're creating a set second network uh, that still uses our ether Ethernet adapter but has a different IP address. So from our router we can name this network and it can access Pi-hole. So we're going to click Save. And there you can see our new network was created. Next we're going to go to overview and we're going to type in pi-hole here. And click on the pi-hole, pi-hole docker. And so if you're running an x86 machine then just leave that as is. If you're running an ARM machine click on the plus sign and we're going to scroll down. And so for our ARM machine you need to put in v 4.0 underscore arm.hf and where you would put that is right there. And so since I don't have an arm machine, I'm just going to click start. Once that's done, click close. And so we had already brought up our pie hole for information. If you haven't done that already, click here and then click info. And so for the pie hole, uh, we're going to need a couple different information or a little bit of information here. So for us, we're going to basically enable all these ports and create two folders for Pi-hole and then the uh, DNS mask for Pi-hole. We're going to put in our new server IP address and we're not going to put in a server IP uh, v6 address. We're definitely going to put start always and we don't have to put cap add net admin because we created a Mac LAN. So back at our Docker, so click on our Docker, cl uh, click run image. So our container name is going to be Pi-hole. Restart policy always. And so for network mode, we're going to click Mac VLAN. And we're going to call this Pi-net. 
And so we're going to go down to networks available. There's our work group. And now we're going to create an IP address. And so we want an IP address that is outside of our normal DNS uh, for our router. And so basically those end, I think, around 88. So we're going to put something after that. So, so type in the first part of your IP address and then add in a number. It has to be less than 254. Uh, I put in 100 because it's easy to remember, basically. Okay, now we're going to go down here and now we're going to add in our environmental variables. And so the first one is our server IP address. And so for us, it was 192.168.254.100 is what we gave it the address of. And we're going to hit plus there. Next, we're going to actually add in a, a web password. And this is so that we can log into the pie hole automatically. Otherwise, it's going to create a sort of obtuse password that then we're going to change anyways. So type in web password and then your favorite password. So uh, for me, I just made up Techno Dad Life. And then finally, add in your time zone and then hit the plus sign. So now down below in the container path, we're going to add in those uh, variables that we saw before. So here you can see it's slash etc. pie hole. Copy that. And we're going to paste that here. Next, we're going to go to our network shared folders. And there's our elite server. We're going to click on app data. Create a new folder called pie hole. And then we're going to open that. And we're going to create a new folder there. This one's called DNS mask. And then we're going to close that and go back here to our host path. Click on shared folders, app data, and pie hole and OK. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to go back and click that DNS mask. So it's a slash, etc. DNS mask dot D. Copy that. We're going to paste that here. Click on the folder again. Go to shared folders, app data, pie hole, and then DNS mask. Click OK and then hit the plus sign. And then next we're going to add in those ports that we saw over here. And you can see we have 53 TCP and 53 UDP. So let's copy those and paste those down in extra arguments. And then leave a space and then the 67 and leave another space in the 8080 another space and then finally the 443 and then what we're going to do is save that and then once we save it we're going to wait a few minutes for it to spin up and then we'll check on it okay so now we're going to type in our new ip address so that's 192.168.254.100 100 for me and then we're going to click slash and admin so here you can see we're in pie hole and now we need to log in. And so now we put in that password, which for me was techno dad life and then log in. And so now you can see we have the basics of pie hole. And so how we get it to work on our network is then we have to go over to our router and click on for me, it's a network tab or basic. And here you can see the static DNS. So we're going to get rid of these. So this bottom one is Google. And these are Cloudflare. And now we're going to type in our normal our, our IP address for our pie hole. And if you remember for that, it was 192.168.254.100. And then uh, for mine, we have to click save. And then we're going to go back to our pie hole. Okay, and so, you, so here you can see it's already starting listing things because I have a couple pages open. But now let's go and I'm going to go away for a second and just browse the internet a little bit and see what happens. And now coming back, you can see that it has had a total number of 31 queries blocked, which was about 18% of what I uh, just surfed. Okay, so some channels might have problems when you do this, and so like YouTube, and so for YouTube, if the 
add video is block you just have to hit refresh a couple times and then eventually we'll figure out a way to uh, play the video uh, so one other thing so one bonus okay so if you want to add additional block lists what you would do is click on settings click on block lists and you can see here there's a bunch added on and so if you go to the piehole websites uh, how do you add default block lists or actually how to add extra block lists you see they go to Wally's block list compilation and so here you can find the tons and tons of lists here so and so one thing you should know when using these lists is you have to look at this little area here and so you can see lists with a check mark uh, least likely to interfere with browsing uh, with a X they might block updates in Amazon and Netflix. Uh, there's also a guide here if you need help uh, adding these lists, but I'll show you in a second. So what we're going to do is just take one of these and there you can see what it looks like in text format. We're going to copy that, go back to our pie hole and then enter a URL. And so we're just gonna paste that there and then save and update. Now it's updating our list. And if you scroll down a little bit, it will show you what's changed. And so now let's go back to our dashboard. And it seems to actually be working better. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And also uh, make sure you check down the post below for the original post on how to set up this doctor. And make sure you give that a thumbs up too. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.